Hi, today I'm going to show you a clever way of selecting files and then making a list of all those files. So you've got two windows, fabs, which is here, which are favorites, and then two rows of thumbnails, and then a preview window here. So essentially, the idea would be you'd have a look through the things, and then anything you liked, you drag and drop to the other side. So that's that's fairly obvious. So I'll just go through quickly and select about 20 pictures. So I've actually selected 21 there. So generally what I will do is if you actually reverse these, so we're looking at the fabs and then we can see which ones are actually duplicates and then we can get rid of anything that are very, very similar. So you can see there, there's two that are quite similar. So I'll get rid of that one. Now that for most people is fairly bleeding obvious, but this is where it gets clever. If you hold down shift and right click, and then where it says open PowerShell here, click on that, you get a blue screen. Don't worry. Then if you click, type on CMD, open up the command window, which looks exactly the same, but it just gives you a few more options. And then DRI on one of these things. So essentially what it's going to do is make a list of all the things in that file. So directory it is going to make it into a text file called favs. And this bit at the back, which basically means it's going to strip off all the dates and sizes and stuff. So you just have a list of files. So now if you go back and open that up, we've now got a nice little list. And then you can just copy and paste that into the email you're sending back to me and say, look, Steve, these are the files I want. And then I've got all the file names exactly as they are. And they're also in numerical order. And that makes it a lot easier for me to find the files. So that way there's no confusion. There's no, there's no chance of typos. And obviously writing out 20 files would take quite some time. So I hope you found that useful.